Hey guys, what's going on? It's Majin Bay. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, as of right now, uh, Eternal Ladder is still not open, actually. We can't play Ranked. The patch went through, but Ranked is not open until midnight for some reason. So today, I played the super degenerate free build gauntlet, which is just so much fun. Um, and I, I have quite a few decks that I want to show you uh, in a short period of time, because tomorrow we're going to be shifting towards Eternal content, right? So today, I figured I'd show you, like, three decks. Um and we'd play one match of Gauntlet each. I'd just load up a match, surrender, cue the next deck, load up a match, surrender, just to show you guys what they are as soon as possible. So if you haven't seen what this format is, you can play anywhere from 10 to 100 cards. You can have up to 20 champions and you can play all 10 regions, right? So the best deck, the tier, tier zero deck right now is Drop Border Combo, where basically what you do is you get Mystic Vortex into play. It puts a bunch of chimes in your deck. Your deck's very short. You're only playing 10 cards. You find your one copy of Drop Border. All the chimes go onto it. Let's say you make it 10 power, right? Then you counterfeit copies, your 10 power Drop Order. It makes exact copies. And then you Feral Presence them onto the field. And it just goes 10 power, 10 power, 10 power. Second Feral Presence, 10 power, 10 power, 10 power. And then you kill your opponent. I'm teching in a one copy of Nopify because the way people are going to try to beat you is they're going to try to play... Um, either a normal deck and they're going to lose. <laughs> they're going to play Drop Border and you have a mirror on your hands or they're going to play something like Insider Knowledge or Passage Unearned. Passage Unearned is a pretty good card to counter this deck. Three mana Shadow Isles, Fast Speed, Obliterate all units that were summoned but not played this round. Uh, so we're going to try the one of Nopify to try to try to like get people that are looking to counter and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, don't know what we're up against but... Three region, no champ. It's pretty clear that we're up against... It's going to be a shortened deck, right? Uh, yeah, only 10 cards. I don't know what they're going to be running, though. Um, Shadow Isles means that we do need to watch out for the Passage Unearned. Uh, we'll full mole because we want the one drop order in our hand, right? We can't do anything unless we have the one drop order. The good news is, is we see eight of our 10 cards in a full mole. We did miss. All right, we drew it. We got there. We got there. We got there. Hello. <laughs> okay. There's the Nopify. So it's just Mystic Vortex, Mystic Vortex. Uh, if we draw the Talia card that speeds up our landmarks, we can go a turn earlier, but I think we're just going to try to go off turn four with the Nopify up. Starspring. I don't know what you're cooking, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. One chime, Pog Champ. Destruction feeds my fire. Over to this. They all scream. So we're only gonna have one card left in deck. Uh, so very likely that we draw the Talia card, which lets us just completely go off, right? More chimes on the drop order. Ah, we did it. Okay, okay, okay. You guys get to see the full thing. This is like very consistent, by the way. I want to want to point that out. Very, very consistent. Uh, we're not even gonna get our, give our opponent an action. Let's just hit. The other seven chimes, All right? Nice big drop order. 19, casual. Counterfeit copies, counterfeit copies, right? Feral presence, slap three of them bad boys on the field. Feral presence, slap three of them bad boys on the field. Attack, this is turn four, with Nopify back up. And that, that's the deck. I hope you enjoyed. It does this every single game. So if you want to play, if you want to play free build, you got to be ready to beat drop order. The other decks I'll show you are prepared to beat this deck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cast a card. I hope you have passage under so I can flex my Nopify tech. Dance in the flame. Not quite enough. Minus 95, got there. GG. So yeah, that's the drop order deck. Let's move on. All right, this next one is uh, from Sir Termond. This is a counter to the drop order deck. Basically what you do is you play Teemo, you flip, right? Because you're gonna, once you have a Teemo in hand, you have five copies of Mushroom Cloud and only 10 cards in your deck. So you're gonna flip Teemo immediately. You have Elixir Vine to protect him, put a bunch of puff caps in your opponent's deck, and then Caitlyn. So, what happens against the drop order strategy is you Teemo, flip Teemo, and sometimes that just kills them because the deck draws, the drop order deck draws their entire deck. And if they're forced to like um, 
put copies in their deck early, it kind of throws them off and it throws off their power. And then when you get Caitlyn down, it keeps them from being able to attack you and kill you. Because if they hit 10 shrooms that turn, you play Caitlyn, she flips. If they attack into your Caitlyn, they just die. So let's uh, let's see how this one does. We're up against Kane Trucks, a real deck. Okay, let's see, uh, how many cards are they playing? Also, it's very fortunate that I happen to have, oh, they're playing a real deck. Okay, let's go like this. Uh, We'll, we'll mulligan all the Caitlyn's. We'll look for more Mushroom Clouds. It's very fortunate that I happen to have 800,000 shards because I'm just forfeiting 800 every single deck I change. Also on stream today, uh, the official Legend of Runeterra account tweeted out a challenge to see if anybody who could get the full six wins only using spells, and I was not able to do it. So if you guys can do it, please let me know in the comments. Um, because I couldn't, I couldn't make it happen. I tried, I tried really hard. Uh, I went deep, deep into the tank. We went like puff cap combo, full mill, pesky specter combo. Like it was, we went, day in the field. We, we got lost in the sauce, man, and never got out. Okay, so good news is, is Teemo should be able to hit twice. Armed and, ready. and if Teemo hits twice, we're about to put a Arm lot of puff caps in our opponent's deck. Because they need to be able to, like, shoot him or challenge him or whatever, right? Yes. Let's shuffle one team Girl in. Like this. I understand I could have just passed, but I want my opponent to uh, <laughs> be hitting puff caps as fast as possible. And I would really like to draw another Teemo. Like, I, I just want to draw more Mushroom Clouds. So if I can draw the third one, that's better for me. Okay, here we go. I'll scout ahead. Twenty-four puff caps in deck. This deck usually doesn't get a way to kill Teemo unless they've already equipped, and so they have the one that deals two damage. Oh, frostbite! Oh my god, that's so good. Um, or furious wielder, right? So they need something that's equipped. We still have a decent amount of shrooms. We drew all three Caitlins. Which I guess is there are worse things. Here's Caitlyn. Bandle Scout Troop Leader at your service. Well, you're certainly the fuzziest partner uh, I've we're gonna take with. That. And then I'm happy to have the peacemakers up to try to counter this furious the wielder. Box bestows the box for bestows a for a prize. Do we even attack with Caitlyn? I don't even know. I think so. Right, because if their plan is like momentous choice to block Caitlyn, that's okay with me. More puff caps. It's just like playing against a puff cap deck that always has the perfect draw. Uh, Furious wielder? I'm prepared. I'm strapped. Okay, here we go. Peacemaker. This is huge if this hits. If this hits, I feel like we probably win the game. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. Okay, okay, okay. So, four flash bombs. 56 puff caps. And we deal five immediately. That's really good. For and then <clears throat> they'll likely hit enough like traps very, very quickly, right by the time that my next attack comes back. But if Caitlyn ever hits them, she's just going to kill them. Okay, that was a non-trap. That's okay. I think I'll keep I'll keep this in hand. We have waited oh. so long, Zolani. And now peace. It's just yeah. moments away. I was thinking, like, because if they challenge Teemo, which Shadow they don't have. And misery. Are you sure? Tea time's over. Okay, yeah, I'll block. I'll block. <clears throat> Opponent gains some life, but, you know, set. whatever. Okay, we're going to do the I puff caps again, because the plan is to flip this Caitlyn. If our opponent's playing another double freeze, that's pretty bad for us. One, two. Oof, man. Three. Didn't get there. Oh, we did. We did. We did. Okay. I aim to win, and my aim is it's excellent. excellent. <laughs> I choked on my drink. <laughs> I was just in such a hurry to say the line. I'll scout ahead. Boom. In we go. Do you have double freezy, Bo Beezy? You have something. Oh my god, it is double freezy bo -beezy. Okay, so we let this happen, and then we play Caitlyn. Tell Vi. Tell Vi. 
Pledge to the dark mm -hmm. within. Good old Kane. Oh! <laughs> yeah, suck it! Vandal Scout Troop Leader at your service. Well, Six more. Off the bat. Ready? The fuzziest partner I've Six. worked with. Oh, we missed. Okay. We drew this. Peacemaker's pretty good. Let's I make a Pokemon. Bold. Manners? I'm super willing to go to three. Yeah, I think we just go to one, right? Like, I think getting Caitlyn back is better. Will she do more damage? I actually don't know. Maybe not. Maybe she won't. But like, what if they have another spell shield card? Oh, that's so tough. It's likely she won't do more damage than this. So let's just do this. Okay, they had another spell shield card. Peacemaker protocol. Peacemaker protocol. Eight flash bombs. Name the groundwork. All right, Tito. Here we go, baby. Here we go. You are the tool. I am the weapon. Last is a feeble mind. Okay, so here's the thing. If I don't attack with Tito, our opponent just gets to cane spell or something, right? And that's bad. But Caitlyn just represents lethal. I'm just gonna play her. I'm just gonna play her. Like she just deals six. Yeah, you can't let this hit. So you like you could block here. You gonna like Aatrox spell? Oh my god, Teemo hit. Puff caps. Okay, 104. They're at two. It's possible they get out of this alive, but they have to be careful. Solari, deluded fools. Oh, exactly enough. Wow, I was scared. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm scared. That was that was spooky. All right, let's let's try to play one more and see if we can hit a deck that has like not 40 cards. Fizz, Pike, Orn. What? Fizz, Pike, Orn. I don't know, but we're just gonna go Tito to the max. We're going to go Tito's on Tito's on Tito's on Tito's. Don't play Fizz. Oh, another full deck? What are you... You guys, another you can't play deal. full decks. You're going to lose to Drop Border. Like, you can never beat the Drop Border deck if you just play 40 cards. It's never happening. Armed Let's jam ready. like this. Insane draw. Then next turn, we'll be able to flip him. We could probably get Caitlyn down, honestly. Oh, let's keep up. Let's keep up some of this in case of another like Mega Rain or Parlay or something like that. Fracture. I don't know. Maybe our opponent plays play, play some dumb stuff. Boom. Boom. Success is planting your mushroom right. Slippery. Let's just go all in. We're going to draw more Teemos. Let's just see if they can stop us, right? Even if they can, that's still 25 pop caps. We get to get Caitlyn down. Oh, let's go. 50. Okay. They all. Hot on the trail. She on just, the just trail. cut off Pike. Of it's pretty, pretty bold. All right, so what's our plan? It's just try to hit with Teemo again. That's the entire plan. Our opponent could be on like a bone skewer list or something. This is such a weird, a weird deck. 
Nice. One down, 16 to go. Another Teemo's nice. Just in case he dies, we can just... Before we get to attack, right? We're going to have to constantly cast our champ spells, otherwise we deck out. Which I happen to think is really funny. She got opponent. Tides rising. Okay. Are you risking it for the biscuit? I'm not going to block. Oh, okay. Um, I'm still not going to block. Yep. Like a bone skewer pipe deck. This has got to be like a bone skewer deck, right? Okay, let's see if Caitlyn levels. We need to hit four. It's unlikely. Oh, we almost got there. Wow. More puff caps. You'll never know what hit him. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty strong. I was thinking, I was like, if our opponent has Bone Skewer, I'm going to have to shoot my own Teemo. Okay, still 56 puff caps. We're a little short of where I would like to be. Okay, we're a lot of short of where I'd like to be. And like Pike Spooky, right? He's about to level. I don't, I don't know if we can go to one. And if we block with one of our guys, then we lose all of them. And if I block with any of these, then like Pike kills them. Woo, we flip Caitlyn. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. I feel like we need to hit with Teemo. What? We're, we're going to need to hit with a Teemo one more time in order to win the game. That is my thought. And even then, it's going to be like, it's going to be close. Not a particularly good way either. Kindle picked me. That's why I smith. Okay. Here, let me see that. He was already big enough. Like, <laughs> you really, you really didn't need to do that. Funny who you remember. Tea times over. Tea times. Hey. So if I want in. to, I can shoot my own Teemo and we do extra damage. We do one extra damage, which might, it might come down to that. So that's what we're going to do. What do you have for one man? Prize fight? What? Okay, I mean, I still do one extra damage. No, I do two. I do two extra damage. Okay, but it means that I won't do more on the following turn. I won't get like a big Caitlyn attack. All right, but here's Tito. Here's the boy. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Okay. We draw Caitlyn. Oh my god, we did five. We have to play her. We have to play her, right? It just makes two things like lethal. Let's split the spoils. We have to go Tito first, then Caitlyn. Otherwise, Pike blocks here and we just lose Teemo. That would be a really funny way to lose. Do you have a spell? Do you have a freeze spell? That's your best bet. Mm, that won't let you block with Fizz if it's a fast spell. Is it Bone Skewer? Is it another prize fight? You should probably fight Caitlyn. I'm sure that'll go really well. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> they killed you. <laughs> Pew. Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. In the world won't keep them off my list. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play against a 10 card deck, but just imagine what would happen if we put 50 puff caps in our opponent's deck on turn three, right? Like just, just picture it if they only had 10 cards to start with. Think about it. 
Okay, so this last one's a bit interesting. I can't, I can't remember who built this originally. Um, I just saw it on Twitter. But this deck is built specifically to beat other people trying to like spike the format, right? To beat the other like 10 card decks. Um, basically what you do with this deck is you get things like Acorn, Disciple of Doran uh, to make your one copy of Insider Knowledge cheaper, usually one to zero mana. Then you counterfeit copies it a bunch, cast one, draw two, cast one, draw two, cast one, and you just, you force your opponent to draw like 10 and then die. The problem is, is if your opponent shows up with 40 cards, you will lose the game. <laughs> pretty much every single time uh you just can't you can't force your opponent to draw that many cards you'd have to counterfeit copies counterfeit copies and then use all those counterfeit copies on insider knowledge maybe we'll see we'll see so hopefully we run into some opponents that play only 10. Let, let, let's see how it goes okay good sign good sign this looks like our opponent's probably on oh some nonsense uh what do you got okay this hand's good i could mulligan a lily pichu just for like more copies of acorn maybe I think I will. But the rest, of, I'm going to keep this. We want to counterfeit copies. We definitely want the insider knowledge. You always want to have the one of insider knowledge. You should probably like full mull for that. Acorn, acorn, acorn. Make it cost zero. <laughs> and we go for it. Now, anytime your opponent is running 10 cards or like close to that, they're very, very likely playing counterfeit copies. Okay, it's a drop order deck. Yeah, they are playing their own counterfeit copies. So it's gonna like trigger, trigger, and then a 50 50. Oh, we got unlucky. Uh huh. Okay, so our opponent has five cards in deck. <laughs> so we could force them to fire off their own counterfeit copies right now, but I don't think we need to. I guess I could. I'm gonna do it, yeah. So we just counterfeit here. We cast Insider Knowledge. We have four more copies of Insider Knowledge in the deck. One, two. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do this. Double insider knowledge. We'll go to one card and then we'll draw our one card in deck. Okay, they are running the Nopify tag. I respect that. Okay, yeah, so they're also gonna have the one card in hand. They're gonna have to open counterfeit copies. They're gonna combo, basically. And then I'm gonna kill them. That's the plan. That's uh that's how we wrote it up at least. Okay. Cause like Acorn will hit and we'll get to make insider knowledge zero. We have one more copy of counterfeit copy. Oh my god. Oh the Mystic Vortex killed him! The Mystic Vortex killed him! Never mind, that's hilarious. We got him. <laughs> Let's do another one. Let's do another one. This deck's so janky, it's so funny. Oh no, this just looks like a real deck. Are you just playing champ strength? Tell me you're not running 40 cards. How many cards do you have? Oh god. Um this full mole for the uh full mole for the insider knowledge. Okay, we got there. Oh, we're gonna have to go deep. Me deep. Okay. Acorn gets in there. Good start. Hopefully they don't have the one to elusive. Or we might just be host. How do we win? <laughs> How do we win? We're going to need to counterfeit counterfeit. We're going to have to get both counterfeit copies and insider knowledge to zero. Okay, that's a good start. That's a good start. We might get there. Locked, loaded, and ready to rocket. Pass. Taking point. Purge the Walker. impurities. Can you go like this. 
ripening edges. I think a bunch of zero cost counterfeit copies in deck. Okay, and then we look for the other insider knowledge again. Skip. And we're just gonna go. We're just gonna we're just gonna go. How many insider knowledges will I need to cast? I'll need to realistically. I do have a speech here. Where did I put it? 30? It's okay, Mayor. I don't like just start applauding. Sorry, uh let's see. It's 15, is 30, 14, 28. We could probably do it with 28. So 14 copies of insider knowledge. Easy easy peasy. I'm not worried. Okay, the problem with this is if like if I miss, we have to wait till we hit another insider knowledge. But I think we just let's try to get our damage in. Not that it matters, <laughs> but maybe it like forces them to do something. I don't know. So we have eight copies of counterfeit copies and four more copies of insider knowledge, all free. They all cost zero. So with eight copies of you take one yordle portal and suddenly geography means nothing. what is the card called oh my god counterfeit copies eight copies of counterfeit copies makes more than enough insider knowledge all right let's just let's just start jamming right oh no fearsome tristana that might just kill us we might only have one turn okay insider oh no okay we just need to draw like one insider knowledge because if we draw one we get to like double cap it we just we just need to like keep the chain going we have four in the deck and I can't, I cannot block fearsome. Yes, mama is the beast, that. mama. Perhaps, okay. I think I, I think counterfeit copying twice on counterfeit copies was too much. I should have done it once, and then once on insider knowledge. Twice on insider knowledge. Yeah, I should have gone twice on insider knowledge. Once on counterfeit copies. Pick it all up, and then go counterfeit, counterfeit. And then counterfeit the other. Okay, yeah, I, I messed up. No, oh, come on, deck. Come on, deck. Engaging. God, I Let's wish I could them. block fearsome units. We're just gonna block as much as we can. We're just gonna go block, block. Let's cook them. Strike the blade. Insider knowledge off the top, and we win the game. Probably. <laughs> Why would you do this? You don't need to do this. You don't need to keep your guy alive. Okay. Insider knowledge off the top. Four of these cards are insider knowledge. Roughly 50-50. Bye, bye, bad guys. Come on, come on. I want to win this 50-50. I want to win it. Come on, come on, go, 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 come on, 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 Oh, no, no. That's my fault. It's my fault. Oh, wow. We still didn't hit one. That's Let's get him, that's kind of unfortunate, actually. <laughs> oh, all right. We, we have to do it again. We have to do it again. I think we could beat a 40 card deck. Now that I've done it, I think we could beat a 40 card deck. Because we have to just start. We just have to make up zero. And then we could just keep counterfeiting counterfeit. Right? Again, again, I need it again. How many cards you got? Zero champs makes me think it's like 10, right? It's gotta be. Uh, it's 10. Okay, full mole. Look for the insider knowledge. Okay, we found it. That's what the feral presence is for. <laughs> so that you could look for insider knowledge if you don't find it. Yeah, I thought we were going to get there because I had the Feral Presence afterwards, didn't I? Yeah, I counterfeit copies, I feral, I predicted, and I was like, surely we'll get there. And then we did not. Is this a Yeti combo deck? What in the world? Here is two copies of Acorn. Meep, meep. We haven't drawn one of our counterfeit copies yet, but that's okay. I can just, like, do this. We also, like, we're guaranteed to draw it by our next turn. <laughs> There it is. Mm hmm. Yep. Nice. That's cool. Darkened spear. In each hammer's blow, his spirit lives on. 
What is what is happening? What are you doing? I was supposed to go prep on insider knowledge first and make counterfeit copies cause zero. Um I mean you're just like dead dead, right? Like I don't even have to do anything. Like I should have just started with this and you're gonna be toast. But you know might as well do the combo. For the boys. Alright, I, I I want to find someone with a normal deck. I want to try to beat someone with a normal 40 card deck with this. I think we can. I think we could do it pretty easily. Okay, is this drop order? Damn. <laughs> I didn't want an easy matchup. Uh, full mall. Look for insider knowledge. Hello. Miss it, but we got the feral presence. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna hit acorn on this counterfeit copies unless we hit unless we hit insider knowledge immediately. So when you mulligan, it replaces it, and you cannot draw the same specific card that you mulliganed. So like. We could draw counterfeit copies, but not the counterfeit copies that we mulliganed away, right? So you see eight cards just on the mulligan. So not finding insider knowledge is like really unlucky. I don't actually need to cast it yet. Uh-huh. All three counterfeit copies. There's the vortex from our opponent. They're going to try to kill us turn four, which is going to be too slow. Craft is not made, but discovered. But discovered. Tell him, Lily. A focused mind. Boom, boom. It costs two. Nice day. It costs one. It gets copied. Let's draw some cards. We're gonna force him to counterfeit copies now. Oh my god, another insider knowledge? That's so lucky. Because if they go down to one card, like, uh, their Misty Vortex kills them. Mm-hmm. Okay, the problem, though... <laughs> is one, I screwed up their combo, right? Because now they're gonna, be, they're gonna be drawing a bunch of random cards, which is probably fine. Maybe they just put, maybe they just copied Feral Presence or something, right? But like, we're just gonna go counterfeit copies, insider knowledge, and just go. Well, I should probably actually counterfeit copies, counterfeit copies. Okay, drop order. How much damage can you do? Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, okay, they got a lot of damage. I have a blocker. Okay, so they'll go, yeah, they'll still have uh, seven cards in deck, so I can't time. kill them. Strike the blade. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Damn, spooky. <sighs> surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so surprised. Consider me surprised. How many cards you got? Six, five. Yep. Bang. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure that I could beat counterfeit copies, counterfeit copies, or some nonsense. You know what I mean? In each hammer's blow, his spirit lives on. Prep here. Lenses. Copy copies. The zero cost. Zero cost copies insider knowledge. We start going off. Uh, let's cast a one cost first. That way we can copy another zero cost. Draw your chimes. We have three counterfeit copies in the deck. I'm just going to cast both these insider knowledges surprise, and be like, surprise. 
they obviously copied drop order. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be like, hmm, what are you gonna do about it? You're at three cards, unfortunate. Well, presence ain't gonna save you here. Yeah, GG. That deck's dumb. <laughs> so yeah, what we would do is we would hit counterfeit copies. We'd counterfeit copies, counterfeit copies, and then just keep, yeah. And that's how we beat a 40 card deck too. Same thing. Because I think we just go infinite at that point. 